Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek Ong with the uh, continuing series of using Smart PLS for your research and analysis. Now, um, most people would have now considered that uh, Smart PLS uh, is quite usable when it comes to uh, modeling uh, complex models. Um, however, you notice that uh, the one thing that we have not considered here is assessing normality. Um, if you remember in one of my videos, I mentioned that Smart PLS takes into account that it doesn't uh, uh, need your data to be normal, uh, unlike the uh, CBSEM, which um, uh, assumes that your data has to be normal. So uh, it will be good no doubt that PLS uh, assumes that the data is not normal, but it will be good to show that at least you have checked your uh, normality of your data. So what I'm going to show it to you is how to check for two things. One is the univariate normality as well as the multivariate normality. Now the multivariate normality is quite uh, interesting because a lot of people tend to forget to check the multivariate normality. So I'm going to show it to you how you do that. So first thing what you need to do is to use the standardized scores, yeah, um, and the standardized scores is actually already calculated for you um, in the uh, latent variables um, in PLS, so all you need to do is just put them into the Excel file, uh, which is there, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, next, you need to know what are your cutoff variables. Uh, um, uh, values for the univariate, which is 1 in 7 for both skewness and ketosis. We'll be using the skewness and ketosis as a measure of normality here. And we are going to use the Mardia multivariate uh, uh, normality, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, analysis or the value for the cutoff, which is 1 in 20 for skewness and ketosis. Okay, and we're going to use a, a web calculator. Uh, to help us to calculate that. And as long as we can prove that multivariate is not normal, then we can show the reason why we are using Smart PLS bootstrapping uh, for our data set. So let me just show you how we're going to do that. So first off, uh, if you remember in my preceding video, we've already shown you how to get the uh, calculate the measurement model uh, for this particular model. But now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to calculate the uh, uh, normality. So first off, make sure you get the uh, latent variable unstandardized, sorry, the latent variable standardized scores, which is here under the final results, latent variable. Copy into the Excel format. You will have to save this into a new Excel sheet. So please save this into a new Excel sheet right at the top and paste, save as, into a place where you can find it. Incidentally, I did this in the first round. Uh, the first time I did this video, I don't know where I saved this to, but now I know. <laughs> Multivariate normality. And uh, go to your Google, that's saved. Um, let me just show you how to do this properly, okay? Okay, so in your Google, search for web power multivariate ketosis. You see that? Web power multivariate ketosis. Choose the first one, which is the web power size stats, and you'll be taken to this particular website. Choose the file that you want to use, which is in your desktop. You should be able to find it. There you go, open. Um, what is the data type here? The file is an Excel file. You can use the SPSS, but I'd rather use the uh, Excel file, okay? Um, select the variables to be used. Uh, you can use the whole data set, leave this place blank, uh, but you want to definitely select the uh, variables. So one, two, six. So put there one, two, six because you're doing all uh, variables. Um, 
there are no missing val values, so you can forget about missing values. So just calculate. Skewness and is being calculated for you. And uh, there you go. Your skewness and catharsis, as long as it is within plus one, seven, one and seven, the skewness, and your catharsis, you have no problems. This is, well, this is a little bit off, so it doesn't matter because, like I said, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, normal. And you notice that these are your latent variables each of the latent variables, it is not normal for your financial performance. But the most important thing now you want is your MADIA coefficient, which is above the 1 in 20, which is very good. So that means that now you can use Smart PLS and say that because your data does not meet um, multivariate normality, uh, if you remember the cut off here, yeah, and now you can say, oh, that's because then that is why we use the uh, MADIA coefficient or the uh, Smart PLS to do uh, the regression, okay? So if you have any questions about this multivariate uh, normality, uh, please let me know. Um, I would love to hear from you. Thank you.